A Fox News alert. President Obama is heading to Roseburg, Oregon later today to meet with the families of those killed at the shooting at the community college a week ago. This morning, a new report says the president is ready to take executive action on gun control, but would new laws make you safer? Joining us right now to weigh in is John Lott. He's the president of Crime Prevention Center and the author of More Guns, Less Crime. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Uh, you know, that particular college campus was a gun-free zone. And you, your theory is that if somebody is plotting or planning a mass attack, that's the first place they're going to go, isn't it? A gun-free zone. No, that's exactly right. I mean, anybody who reads their diaries or looks at other statements that these killers have left know that their goal is to get attention. And they know that the more people they can kill or injure, the more attention that they can get. Sure. And they make it very clear that they want to go to a place where they can unfettered kill as many people. And to do that, you want to go to a place where people can't defend mm -hmm. themselves. For instance, John, uh, Dylan Roof, the shooter down in Charleston, uh, the church was not right. his first target, was it? No, Charleston College was. But when he investigated it, he found out that there was a lot of armed security there on campus. And he knew that he wouldn't be successful in killing many people before mm -hmm. he was stopped himself. Meanwhile, the guy out in Colorado in Aurora, he wound up going to a movie theater. Why that theater? Right. Well, his, again, his first choice was another target. It was going to go after an airport. But he realized after he looked into it that there was just too much armed security. And they would stop him there also before he was able to go and kill many people. I didn't. And if you look at the go ahead, go ahead. And if you look at his choice of the movie theaters, there were seven movie theaters within a 20-minute drive of his apartment. Only one of those mm -hmm. posted signs banning permanent concealed handguns, and that's the one he went to there. Since 1950, all of the public mass shootings except two have been in a gun-free zone. John, what's your advice to the president of the United States? Well, my advice is that he stop pushing these proposals that wouldn't have stopped any of these attacks that he's talked about, that he's spent these times giving speeches on, and try to look at what's actually motivating these guys, that they want to get this attention, mm -hmm. they want to go to a place where they can't be stopped quickly, and to try to change that, to try to get rid of some of these gun-free zones, which are actually magnets for these criminals going and doing their attacks. And you have made that crystal clear. All right, uh, John Lott, the author of More Guns, Less Crime. Sir, thank you very much for joining us today from Tampa. Thank you.